Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to cover a stable multi vibrator using IC triple five. I have already covered the same topic in Hindi, so if you want to watch in Hindi, I will provide the link in the description. So we are going to start with concept first, and then we will deep dive into circuit diagram and working, etc. So the concept of a stable multi vibrator is very simple. The name itself is self-explanatory. It does not have any stable state. Okay, it is a stable. So it is a free running multi vibrator whose output keeps jumping between high and low. Okay. Then second important point is it does not have external input. In mono stable multi vibrators, you gave something at input side. Okay. Here you are not providing any voltage, any current, nothing. So now you must be wondering then how does this circuit produce the output? From where? We are going to see all that in detail. So if you see the construction of a stable multi vibrator, it looks like this. Okay. So this red part is a block diagram of triple phi IC. And the blue is external thing. So this RA, RB and C we have connected to the triple five IC to make a stable multi vibrator. So this is the pin diagram of a stable multi vibrator. First pin is connected to ground and eighth pin is connected to VCC. This is about power supply. Then there is fourth pin reset. Reset pin has no role in a stable multi vibrator. And it is active low, so let's connect it to VCC. It has no role. Same for pin number 5, it has no role, so let's connect a capacitor between 1 and 5. We connect a capacitor between these two pins when we are not using the pin number 5. Then pin number 3 is output. From this pin, we will collect the output. Pin number 6 and 2 are connected to this node which connects register R, B and C. Okay. Then pin number 7 is connected to this node between R, A and R, B. So R, A is connected to VCC and C is connected to ground. So this makes a stable multi vibrator. Okay. So now we just saw the construction, how it is constructed. Now we will see the working. Now you must know the working of block diagram of triple five ic i have made a video on that so if you are not aware what are these comparators flip-flop and if you are unaware about the working please watch that video first and then it will be very easy to understand a stable multi vibrator okay this is inside view of triple five ic so if you see the connection this pin number 7 is connected between this node. So usually I show this transistor over here. But as this node is connected to pin number 7, I have moved this transistor over here. Okay. So that the diagram will not get complicated. Pin 6 and pin 2 is short circuited and connected to this node. Okay. I have not shown the other unnecessary connections like pin number 4, pin number 5 because they do not play any role in working. Okay, so let's start. Now pay attention. Now suppose the initial output is high. Okay, it is anyway going to jump between low and high. So let's start with the high state. So this blue is my output which is currently in the high state. Okay. So my output is 1, means my Q bar is 1, because Q bar is connected to output. So Q is 0, and this Q is connected to the base of the transistor, okay. So for now, there is 0 at the base of this transistor, so this transistor is off, means open circuit, okay. So this is open circuit, so this capacitor has a path to charge towards VCC. Okay. So it starts charging through RA and RB. 
so it is charging towards vcc through ra and rb okay at the same time this vc whatever voltage is across capacitor it is going to pin number 2 and pin number 6 okay now look at this comparator this is non inverting comparator okay and there is threshold of 2/3 vcc so whenever your voltage of capacitor will try to cross 2/3 vcc okay there is threshold of 2/3 vcc and when voltage of capacitor will cross this line then this comparator will turn high so when vc is greater than 2/3 vcc then the output of comparator will be plus v sat means 1 okay so here it is 1 so ca capacitor is charging towards vcc at some point it will reach 2/3 vcc and the comparator output will be 1 and at the same time this vc is going to pin number 2 also to this inverting comparator but this comparator is not in the picture because output of this comparator is zero note this is inverting comparator its output will be one only when the vc will drop below 1/3 vcc now vc is not decreasing vc is increasing in between that time this comparator will turn on and the output will be one this one will go to flip flop it will set the flip flop and output will be flipped to one it was zero before and now it is one so now q bar is zero and the output is also zero okay so this is how your output state is changed understood so now we will draw the waveform so capacitor was charging towards vcc but it will reach 2/3 vcc at this point and then the comparator output will turn high and the flip flop will be set so q will be 1 and q bar will be 0 so your output will come to low state okay now let's come back to block diagram again so now our output is zero so q bar was zero and q was one okay we studied that scenario now now what happens next so this one is appearing over here and now this transistor will switch on as it is having one at the base so this transistor will act as short circuit so now there is a short circuit to ground at pin number 7 so capacitor has a path to discharge now so it will discharge through rb and pin 7 okay it will discharge through this transistor okay so the voltage across capacitor is dropping now it is decreasing so same voltage is coming across the pin number 2 that is inverting pin of the inverting comparator okay now this comparator will play a role now the threshold is 1/3 vcc okay so the vc should drop below 1/3 vcc to switch this comparator on so capacitor is discharging discharging and at some point the voltage is going to be so low that it is going to be less than 1/3 vcc so at that time output of this comparator will be plus v sat means 1 and this is connected to the r pin so this is going to reset your flip flop okay so now the q is zero because flip flop is reset and q bar is again one so your output is again flipped to one okay so we started with one then we went to zero and then we are again back to one okay so this is how your output is jumping from 0 to 1 and 1 to 0 we will draw waveforms now so at this point your capacitor starts discharging once it reaches to 1/3 vcc threshold 
the comparator turns on and the flip flop is reset flip flop is reset means q is 0 and q bar is again 1 means your output is again high okay and then the cycle is going to be repeated again the capacitor will start charging towards vcc again the first comparator is going to turn high and the flip flop is going to be set and the output is going to be low again okay. so the story is going to be repeated so you are going to get this kind of waveform at output so you can see this is free running there is no stable state it is going to jump between 1 and 0 okay so the working is quite clear now so you can remember the working in this form in this cycle form you can take a screenshot of this or i will provide the link of notes in the description so let's see some equations now so i will quickly show you the tc and td so this is the charging time which is tc and this is discharging time td okay this tc and td depends on the resistor combination so when your capacitor was charging it charged through ra and rb okay but while discharging it discharged through only rb there ra was not in the picture okay so your tc depends upon ra and rb and td depends upon rb okay the same is reflected in the equations your charging time is 0.69 ra plus rb into c and discharging time is 0.69 rbc so the total time is tc plus td 0.69 ra plus 2 rb into c so the frequency of oscillations of your output is inverse of this nothing but 1.45 upon ra plus 2 rb into c so duty cycle is nothing but tc upon t tc is ra plus rb and what is total time period ra plus 2 rb into 100 is nothing but duty cycle okay so these are important equations i have covered the design question of a stable multi vibrator so you can check it out so design questions are important from exam point of view or they can ask you to draw waveforms and circuit diagram of a stable multi vibrator so i hope the circuit and working is very clear to you now i tried my best to simplify these things okay if you are still confused watch this video once again don't jump from one playlist to another playlist stick to one video and try to understand so that's all for this video if you have liked this video give a thumbs up share this whole playlist with your friends and subscribe to my channel thank you